All right, I'm just gonna give a couple seconds for people to hop on. Tap it up here. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I really need to figure it out because for the last couple lives, like usually when you go off a of live, like it'll you know ask you like can you like put it on to your live, but it don't that the option don't come up. I don't know why. But uh, everybody, welcome back to the Learn Me While I Sip Show. I'm your host Ralph Cole. I uh, hope everybody's having a great, uh, fantastic day. Of course, aside from the number one side chick of America or in the world, uh, Big Ron. She out doing people wrong still. But everything is opening back up with no results, but it's all good. But for the meantime, come join us on the Learn Me While I Sip show. And today I got a special guest. This special guest, she's coming out of Missouri, a place where I've never been, um, where I would love to go. She's a licensed esthetician. She has a fantastic like spot and everything. Her name is Christian Maxwell. So definitely going to ask her if she can sing, if she can't. Or if she can, I'll sing a duo with her. So maybe at the end of the show, you know, we never know. She might, she might, she might let us do a duo or put her on the spot. But without further ado, without further ado, here she was. Hey, hey. she tried to do it too. Look at it. Hey. <laughs> Oh man, you turned up today. All the way, all the way. Me every day. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Always good to have good energy. Let me, let me, let me get right. Let me fix my stuff. All right. <laughs> so real quick, let the people know who you are. Let the people know why you're so amazing. All right, so my name is Kristen. I am a um, senior army vet turned medical assistant turned licensed esthetician right here out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I am the owner of Chris Body Bar, where I'm giving you body with a sprinkle of face. <laughs> okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, like, first of all, thank you for your service. I'm a, uh, I'm a veteran. No problem. What, what, was your, uh, what was your MOS while you was in? Uh, 54 Bravo. What's, what's uh, that? Chemical operations. So. Oh, okay, okay. I was a uh, 25 Charlie radio radio operator. Okay, okay, cool. Well, thank you for your service as well. Uh, <laughs> no problem at all. So I guess let's, you know, since, since we started from there, let's start off with uh, what is it that you were sipping on today? Let me see. I have some Tabor Port. What is this? 1880. It's a red sweet wine. It's really, really good. Y'all should try it out. Okay. All right. Well, um, uh, I just got this. It's uh y'all y'all might y'all might have to help me pronounce it. You can see it. <laughs> uh Cav Cavatapi. C C A V A T A P P I. Mm mm. I can't get that either. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> All right, cool. so, so yeah, that's this this one I'm sipping on. So let's so let's start off, let's start the show off with a toast. All righty. You toasting? Yeah, I got it right here. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Also, too, everybody back home, if you're watching, you know, if you got your wine or whatever beverage it is that you're sipping on, put your glass up and everything. Or if you're going to watch the show later on on my YouTube, glasses up to y'all. So let's, let's hop right into it. So how did you go from, like, serving the country to, you know, uh, you was a medical assistant first. Yes. So what what made what made you go into into that field? I mean, cause I always love uh, working and helping with people, and uh, during the time that I got out of the service, my dad he was diagnosed with cancer, and mm. so uh, my grandmother my great grandmother was sick and down at the same time. So I was back and forth between the both of them caring for them, you know, trying to make sure that they're comfortable and everything. So I just feel like my calling is to help people, you know, mm -hmm. and make them feel good. So 
That's good. That's good. So, and and uh, what at what point did you want to go to like esthetician school from being a medical assistant? Ooh, okay. So I had been on my job for like five years and I'm sitting there and the work is repetitive and I'm just over it. So I'm sitting there in my seat. I'm like, Lord, this is not all that you have for me. So I love doing makeup, probably just my own, but uh, <laughs> I love doing makeup. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go into basically skincare, not knowing what all was entailed into the esthetician world until I got there. But uh, when I got there, I just fell in love with like doing facials, doing uh, different type of body treatments. But in the school that I went to, we learned a little bit more than the regular um, esthetician program. We learned body contour, we learned <laughs> wood therapy, uh, ear candling. We learned we learned so much. So um, yeah. from there, it just took off for me. That's crazy. I I, I keep hearing about the what, what is it, wood wood what wood therapy. I. I never, I never even heard about that. What is, what is that? So there's a lot of different. Good thing I'm in the spot, huh? Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, different wood therapy tools. They have different shapes. They help shape and mold the body and reduce fat, break up those fat cells so that it can be excreted through the lymphatic system easier. So it's almost like cavitation, but this right here, you gonna do some work. <laughs> it look, it look like, a, it look like it hurt. Uh, it, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but once they get used to it, it's not so bad. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> mm. See me, I'm 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 scared. I'm scared to do all this. So any anything that I feel that's gonna hurt, I try, I try mm. to stay away from. Ah, oh, come on! Now you gotta try it out at least once. I'll I'll say this: my first time getting uh, doing micro needling. Uh huh. I put it I put it all the way down to zero. <laughs> Not, not even not even point two five. I had it all the way down <laughs> down to zero, and as soon and as soon like we did it while we, while I was in school, and as uh -huh. soon as, she, as soon as she started, I'm like, hey, stop, stop, oh. I can't do it. You couldn't take it, huh? I could not take it. I could not take it. Well, I think you'll like micro channeling a little bit better because it's not so much going scraping across the skin. It's more so the machine doing it, the work itself. So gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I'll I'll try that. I'll try it. I don't know. I might, okay. I might let you do it. I'll, I'll let you do it. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so um so so tell me about the class that 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 you went down to Miami to to take. Oh, so I went down and met some great bosses down there, which is um also to Dior. Also, let, me, let me let me pause you real quick. I'm kind of uh -huh. jealous because I never been to Miami and I would love to go. So well, let me tell you something. That was my first time going to, and I so want to be there right now. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. But um, yes, I met Beauty Culture One Hundred and One. It's her Instagram handle and NJ Body Bar. Uh, they are absolutely great at what they do. They have a lot of experience in the post op world, and they took me down there. They took me under their wings. I actually got to. Uh, work on a live dial while I was down there. Uh, if you guys ever heard of Lily and Grams on uh, YouTube, they're real big YouTubers. She she had uh, Lily had the surgery done, so we were doing her post op care, and she allowed me to come in and be in her space and learn this hands on business that's gonna basically take me to the top. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Did, uh, like how how long how long was you down there? And like, how, how long was you down there for? Uh, I was down there for the week. I think I went down like Thursday and came back. No, I went down Friday, came back on a Tuesday. So yeah. I really enjoyed my time down there. And you know, Six Figure Spot Chick was down there, so I got some classes from her while I was down there too. Right. So <laughs> shout out to Six Figure Spot Chick. I love. I love. Yes. Um, <laughs> so like, how has that class like helped you in your business? Like since you since you uh, taken it. Well, look, let me tell you. So as soon as I took it and I came back home, that's when COVID-19 took over. And Man. so, yeah, so we're we're really just getting ready to start back opening up here in St. Louis. So once I do, I plan on getting out here, uh, marketing and getting to some of these surgery uh, clinics and be like, hey, I'm, I'm doing post-op, send your clients to me so we can help them heal faster and yeah. have the best results that they can possibly have. So... Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, 
Yeah, I know uh, for me, I just graduated. Actually, the week that everything closed down, that's the week that I graduated. So I know. Congratulations. <laughs> so everything that I had planned, that's all had to come to an end. But I'm glad that I did create this platform so that, you know, I can meet people like you. So, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So so tell me so tell me about the uh the bold moves worldwide. Okay, so it's a it's a coaching group that we have here in St. Louis, well basically worldwide really. Um but Karan Bolden is from here in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Um he put together this coaching group that is going to change the city of St. Louis and many other cities throughout the world. So uh, right now we're, we're Hold on, I can't, I can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. Oh, man, it's like we have some... Hold on, hold on. Let me see. I might have to bring it back. Let's see. Let me bring it back, let me bring it back. Bring it back. All right, we I back. think my phone is possessed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's everybody's phone. Since like since everybody been in the house, my phone just been going crazy. I know. <laughs> but yeah. what I was saying before I got really interrupted by my phone yeah. was uh <laughs> was that we are currently raising money for the Annie Belong uh parade foundation because you know as you know, COVID came in and took over, so we're not able to have that parade. But we still want to support and help out kids and families during this time because some of them are not, I mean, they really need our help. So right. if, if you guys wouldn't mind going to Annie Mae so uh, Foundation and make a donation, even if it's a dollar, uh, every little bit helps. We would greatly, greatly appreciate that. And do you, do you have a link where they can go and uh, make the donation? Yes, I can. I'll, I'll put it uh, in my. I'll put it on when I get off of here. Put it that way. <laughs> okay. All right. So so yeah. So make sure y'all go and uh, donate. The link gonna be in her bio. Yeah. Um. So, like, I seen a couple of pictures like on your on your timeline like of your spa, but like, you know, like like what like tell me tell me more about your spa. Like, what's what's like the atmosphere you would say. That's, uh, that, that you have in your spa? Well, I currently rent a room and um, some of the other uh, renters in here, they do lashes, some mm -hmm. do hair. So our atmosphere is really calm and cool. And sometimes we get crook on the weekends because we'll have like um, snacks and drinks and stuff for our guests right. when they come in. But uh, for the most part, it's really, really laid back. Everybody's, the, everybody's friendly and nice, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that, that's my first time drinking that. Uh, <laughs> is it strong? <laughs> it, uh, it's uh, it's it's good. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. What's what's about? <laughs> it, it caught me. <laughs> I see. I'll try to get back. <laughs> that's not so, right. Uh, so 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 what what would you say is like some of your uh like favorite treatments to do? Um most definitely wood therapy and cavitation. Um and then sometimes I like doing some of the treatments where I'm not so much hands on <laughs> where I can kinda like walk away and take a breath for a second. Yeah. But uh most definitely contouring the body and reshaping so that they can get the look that they desire. So, I mean, everybody wants this slim waist or maybe a bigger booty because I do uh, non-surgical butt lifts as well. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here for it all. So anything that I can do to make them happy, I'm going to do it. You know, it's crazy. I was actually, I was actually, cause I moved to North Carolina later on this year and I was actually okay. thinking about uh, getting into nursing school so that I can get into like doing Botox and lip injections and stuff like that. Nice. I, yeah, I, I wanted to be a nurse. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, to be a medical assist, can medical assistants, like, do, like, like, injections? Like yeah, Botox? we, yeah, we can give, um, we can draw blood, we can give injections, because I used to work in the ortho clinic, too, and the yeah. peds clinic, so I used to give them kids shots, and maybe 
it was not <laughs> fun trying to hold them kids down, trying right. to get them in shots. But yes, we, you know, we can do so much within the scope of medical assistance. So, you know, it's crazy. I, I, I think I was a weird. I, I think I'm weird when it comes to needles. Like whenever I'm like giving blood or something, or uh, you know, drawing blood. Like uh -huh. I have, I have to watch like the needle. To, I I got to watch it go in in order for it not to hurt. Is that, oh, is that, is that weird? Um, yeah, because I don't want to watch it go in. <laughs> but, I don't want to watch it go in. I just want you to stick me and be done. Because if I watch, I'm flinching. I'm trying to move because I don't too much care for needles either. But I'd rather yeah. just turn my head. <laughs> I, don't know, I think I, I think the worst part for me is the alcohol. The alcohol, really? Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just something about it. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird. Don't, 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 don't no, mine, mine's a, mine is a tourniquet. They can keep that. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? What? Like, what's, what's, that, what's that smell on it? That's, that's what I don't like. What's that? The the smell. Like, of the... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's... Ah. I don't know. Yeah. I can't, I can't Not even... That you I never really realized that until you just said something about it, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I pay attention to weird stuff. So don't, don't, don't mind me. So, um... Uh -huh. So, like, what what would you say is like some of your like top motivations for you to, you know, like continue going? Um, one of them would be hoping that now that my dad is gone, hoping that he is proud of the woman that I have become. Like, I'm still moving. I'm not letting anything keep me down, and that's how it's always gonna be. And mm -hmm. then, um, but my top priority is my kids. They keep me moving, and they see me doing what I'm doing, and they know that I'm doing it for them. So right. that keeps me mo motivated and keeps me pushing. Yeah. Well, they, you know, uh, your dad and your kids, I'm sure is definitely proud of you because you're doing you yeah. know, a job. So, shit, yeah, I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud of you. So in this oh, thing, thank I'm, you. I'm proud of this <laughs> first time, like, actually, you know, meeting and everything, but I'm proud of you. Yeah, um, thank you. So I guess, I guess that's a good – that's a good like way to go into my next question. Uh -oh. Like, when was the last time you told yourself that you love yourself? Honestly, I can't even tell you that. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I should tell myself now. I love you, self. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's that's something important. Yeah, you know that that. To, I feel like that's definitely something we should tell ourselves every day as we continue to, you know, learn about ourselves and find out what it is that we need to take care of within ourselves yeah. and everything. And also, we too, we should tell other people, you know. Oh, like, definitely. Uh, yeah, like, um, you know, I, always, uh, uh, I told my daughter that, you know, every morning when she wake up before she brush her teeth, mm -hmm. make sure she tell herself that she's beautiful, make sure she tell yeah. herself that she loves herself. So, you nice, know, I, nice. I got I to follow my own rules with that. Yeah, so, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. Promise. I promise. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, uh, so there's a segment on my show where I call it "Explain That Post." So, oh, Lord. okay. So you you made it you made it kind of hard for me to where like you didn't really have a lot. A post that's like really embarrassing, like the ones that's like all the way there. But I did find one. Let me see. Actually, two. Okay, now tell me what it is because I don't know why this thing is still got the circle going right now, but I can't see it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see me? I can see you, but it has a circle going, but it hasn't refreshed yet, but that's okay. It hasn't refreshed on you? No. Oh. But that's okay. Just tell me what the post is and I'll <laughs> explain it. Let me see. Because uh, I actually got three of them. Um, uh. One, uh, one of them you already kind of talked about. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off with this one. Okay. So, is that is that a form of, like, you know, body sculpting? Or what am I doing? Can you see it? Nope. 
it's still refreshing over here for some reason. Huh. See, right. you, can't see, you can't see what I just put up? No. What, what is it? What am I doing? Oh, man. So you, you're supposed to... Let me see. Like, uh, where my live is at. Let me, see, let me take it off. Okay. So you can, all, all you're seeing right now is me? Yeah. I mean, I see me, but I see you, but it has, like, the circle. Like, it's trying to refresh and catch up, but I, I don't know what's going on. Huh. It just started, so. Hmm. Let me see. I tell I tell you what. Let's. Uh. You think you think that if like if like you. Let me see. If like we uh. Like like I'm, I'm gonna click you out and then come right back so that you can re so that you can restart because there's, cause there cause there's really a post that I really want you to explain. Oh okay. So so my friend just said it's the Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> All right. But but yeah, I know. But I, I I want her to see it though. I want her to see. You want me to see it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what. I'm I'm gonna click you. I'm gonna click you off, and then I'm gonna request you to come right back. Okay. All right. Man, I really I really want her to see this post, and it's not even a Brazilian butt lift. I was keeping for sweating, and I hate I gotta put my camera at this angle. Or for it to happen. Let me see. All right, say it's waiting on him. Let me see. But for every, but for everybody right now that's tuned in, like, are you what? Uh, where is it? Where is it that y'all tuning in from? What's up, Sparkle and Shine? Okay, let's see. Your phone missing up. Here we go. There you are. <laughs> All right, we good? We good now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so this is the first one. Can you see that? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, so that is the Brazilian butt lift. So mm -hmm. anybody that doesn't want to go under the knife um, to still get that lift and volume in their buttocks, this is the route to go. And we also use root wood therapy with that as well, which is going to help plump it up. Uh, before the cups actually go on, so the cups is what's really gonna bring that volume out. Okay. Do do that? Do guys get that too? I mean, some some of them do. Some of them do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a few. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, so so the next one, and um, I didn't want you to bring it up, but but you did as soon as we came up. <laughs> So oh. explain this. When I see you, I'm like, I didn't even know you was. I hey, didn't know you was now, there. now that's an embarrassing photo <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so when I went into the military, I was I wasn't even 21 yet. I spent my 21st birthday in boot camp. I did and too. And so yeah, I did too. <laughs> yeah. Spent my twenty first birthday in boot camp, but I was surrounded by really good people. They are still my best friends and my second family, of course. But yeah, uh, yeah during this time, I was blind as a bat, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> and then right before I got mm -hmm. out the military, I got the LASIK eye surgery so I could see again. <laughs> right. Oh man. Look, yeah. I don't, even, I don't even want to show you. I don't even want to show you my my picture. I know. I need to right. see that. I need to see oh, it. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I, I hope it's in the trash somewhere. It was terrible. Oh no. <laughs> it was terrible. I look totally I look like a I look like a baby bird. Oh what not it a baby bird. Terrible. It was terrible. What branch were you in? I was in the army. You was in the army too? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I was in the army. Uh nice. yeah. So for this next post, and mm -hmm. I chose three, but uh for this next one, uh it's one that is one that uh definitely like holds like a lot of power and everything and i kind of want to get you to explain it so that okay. i can you know just just so you know like i can because in order for you to post it it has to be important to you and everything mm -hmm. that's how i feel okay. so explain this post all right so uh, I know a lot of people walk around in silence. 
Um, they're being abused every single day. And they feel like they don't have a voice. And so when I posted this picture, I wanted them to know that they do have a voice. Even if they didn't feel like they had a voice, that I would be their voice for them. Right. And so that was the whole meaning of me really posting it out there in, you know, in awareness of domestic violence. Well, I do want to just take time to say that I definitely appreciate you posting this and everything. As soon as I seen it, I was mm -hmm. like, I'm definitely going to pick that one because that's that's definitely important for more people to speak out, you know, right. and on, on both sides, both men and women, you know, about domestic, you know, violence, domestic, you know, right. uh, whatever, you know, like, right. you know, so I definitely appreciate you definitely posting that because that is something that people need to be more aware of for sure. No problem. And then, like you say, we do, we do forget that men, too, is in this category. Like, they get abused, too, so we can't leave exactly. them out completely you know exactly exactly so well i appreciate you explaining yeah those posts no problem I definitely do i wish i wish you had uh i wish you had more more pictures from when you was actually serving <laughs> nah <laughs> them like in a box in the basement <laughs> like on top of some stuff <laughs> right right Under, underneath stuff yeah <laughs> Cause I got some crazy pictures. <laughs> Trust me, I know, I know. I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, what what does uh, success mean for you? Success to me is basically anything that you make it. As long as you don't give up on yourself and you continue to reach for the stars and continue to go after your dreams, that's what it is. <laughs> so that's what success is to me. Nice. Never give up. Nice. Nice. Um, what what is it that you would recommend to a young lady that's like trying to be in a position where you are? I mean, if it's if it's on their heart, I say go for it. Mm. Don't second guess yourself because if it's really in your heart and you keep thinking about it and it's in the front of your mind, I I'm not gonna say the back of your mind, but it's in the front of your mind, then that means you need to do it. Go ahead and pursue whatever it is that you're thinking of doing. So, um, and, and make sure you find a mentor. Mentors are really good to help push you further because sometimes when you get down, you don't know what to do, where to turn. And when you turn to that mentor, they kind of lift you back up and get you back on your feet and back on the right path. So I would say just go for it. Mm, that's good. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing that that's something that you would tell yourself five years ago, right? <laughs> uh, probably so. So so just imagine put yourself in a situation to where five years from now, what mm -hmm. is it that you think you would tell yourself? Ooh, make sure you invest in yourself. Make sure you um have like get your LLCs, get your business credit, like make sure that you have a solid foundation for your business beforehand. That way when you get to that point you'll be good to go. You don't have to worry about you know, your business going down in the dumps or anything like that, you're already going to be set apart from a lot of people who's not even making those moves already. So I would just say build your foundation, uh, make sure that you are good to go. That's good. That's good. Um, so I do have a segment on my show called The Big Ten. And okay. I, and I feel like with The Big Ten, it's a guest favorite and also it's a crowd favorite as well because – the crowd or the people that's watching uh, our audience can also involve themselves within this show. I mean, within okay. the segment and everything. So <laughs> as I ask the questions, and, the, and it's just going to be 10 questions. So as I ask the questions, you get to choose either or. There's no wrong answer, but everybody that's, everybody that's watching, feel free as I ask the questions for you to also, you know, put your, put your answer down in the comments <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Also, also, too, right before we start, Make sure uh -huh. you all share this video with the last yeah. five people in your DM. Just do it real quick while we're talking. Just, it's two seconds. Please Just do it real share quick. it. <laughs> all right. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. So, question number one. Mm-hmm. Chocolate chip or Oreo cookies? Oreo cookies. Uh, Sprite or ginger ale? Mm, probably ginger ale. Yeah. Uh, 
butter pecan ice cream or salted caramel? Ooh, butter pecan. I can't stand salted anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so with this one, I'm gonna take it back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it back. Martin or Fresh Prince? Martin. Over oh, Fresh Prince? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, vacation at the beach or vacation in uh, in the um, what is it called? A uh, 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 snow cabin. I would take probably the beach. I don't like to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a summer baby. My birthday in July. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. So you you a cancer? I am. You know what? Hey, that's another toast. <laughs> you know, team, team cancer over All here. All right. Know. Look. Hey, 40 loading. 40 is loading. <laughs> you, you, you said what now? I say 40 is loading. For who? For me. I need to see some ID. Uh, I'll show it to you. I'll be 40 this year, July the 12th. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me like that, Ralph. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, now. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, bath or shower? Say that again. Bath or shower? I like a long bath after a long day of work, so I would take I would take a bath. Mm, okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Michael Jackson or Whitney Houston? Just combine them together. There you go. <laughs> I, both. <laughs> that's that's I a setup. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's a setup. Uh. Pizza or tacos? I'll take pizza. Pizza or tacos? Okay. Yeah. Um, brownie bites or cookie dough? Brownie bites. Brownie bites? Yeah. Uh, McDonald's or Wendy's? Wendy's. Wendy's? They nuggets be so good. <laughs> Yeah, I, like, I like their fries. Wendy's yeah, fries. Yeah, that's it. The fries, too. Give me a little cheese sauce dipping cup. <laughs> I said, now, now, now you're going too far. Now you're going too far. Now you're going too far. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so for this, for this last one, uh, sing or dance? Now. I already for, heard you. I already heard you. I'm not singing. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, man. <laughs> See, that that would that would have been the highlight of the whole episode right there. It would have, but honey, you don't want me to shut this live down. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> all, all you gotta do is go ahead and hit that note real quick. Nah, cause okay. you're gonna be like Whitney who? <laughs> but you know what? I don't dance either. I can two step all night. That's so all you, you get out of me. So you don't sing or dance? I ain't gonna say I don't sing. <laughs> but I'm not singing. I'm it singing. sounds a mess. I sing in the shower. That's where it belongs. That's the best part. Yeah, because I sound good in the shower. Everybody sound good. I feel, <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel like everybody can sing. That's how I feel. That's 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 my opinion. Come on now. For real. Cause like for instance, one of the most iconic voices that anybody knows is Louis Armstrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, when mm -hmm. Louis first started singing, if he believed that he couldn't sing, then he would have never became Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. And and who who sounds like Louis Armstrong? You. Let me hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Don't look off now. Come on. <laughs> see, 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 no, no. See, that's that's. See that's that's that that's that uh that's that's that that's that cancer. <laughs> What'd you say? This is my segment. The do right. Yeah, this this yeah this this it for you. This is you. Uh, uh. My, my my day my day will come. Okay. My day, okay. My day will come. Okay. <laughs> so, so so since you don't want to get put on the spot for singing, yeah. Then we can go into my next segment called okay. the elevator speech. 
Oh, now, man. with the elevator speech, I guess it's a, I guess it, it, it's a love hate relationship with the guests that usually come on the show. But the audience love to hear it because they see that you know it's it's not the but all about just being yourself, showing your personality. All right. Okay. So with the elevator speech, what it is, I put you in a scenario, and mm -hmm. within that scenario, you have one minute to tell me what it is that you will say. Okay. All right. So the scenario is. Let's say you're going to a big city, you're going to a huge corporate building, skyscraper, you go all the way up to the top, to the 50th floor. Mm -hmm. You walk in, you walk into the elevator, right before the elevator doors close, a multi-millionaire walks into the elevator. What is it that you will say to that multi-millionaire to get him or her to invest into your business? I was like, okay, let me see, let me see. <clears throat> We're like, hey, my name is Kristen. I'm here. I'm a local here in St. Louis, Missouri, and I just opened up a spa. I'm the owner of Chris Body Bar, where I'm giving you body with a sprinkle of face. I specialize in non-surgical body contouring as well as corrective skincare issues. So, um, <laughs> now this is where I get stuck. So, I was just wondering if we could sit down and have some time to talk to see about possible um, you investing in me. I guess I would say. <laughs> hey, you did great. <laughs> you know, you did great. That was, that, that, that's it. Short, sweet, to the point. You 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 spoke. You introduced yourself. You said why. Mm. You know, and that's pretty much it. You know, you can have yeah. a conversation from there. You know, yeah. so you did you did great. You did a fantastic thank you, thank job. You. So uh, so so is it? That's that's what I do. You know? <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, so so do, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, not really. Not right now. I mean, I'm, I'm loving your platform. I'm loving what you're doing. And believe me, I'm taking notes because uh, you out here killing the game. So, uh, <laughs> so don't, don't uh, be alarmed if I hit you in your inbox and be like, uh, Ralph. <laughs> hey, it's why it's wide open. It's yeah. Wide open. <laughs> it's wide open. So I so uh, I definitely appreciate you being you know taking time out of your schedule to come and be a guest on the show. I really do appreciate it, and I'm honored that you mm -hmm. could take time to be a guest on my show. So uh, and also too, once my show does get a bigger platform and mm -hmm. I start doing the sh interviews and everything in person, mm -hmm. I would love for you to come back and be a guest. Awesome. And we can do it in person for sure. All right. Well, thank you. And, pre and thank you for having me. Like, no seriously, problem. like, <laughs> no I've been anticipating though. today all week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. Make, 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 sure, make sure you let people know, you know, or if you yourself or for everybody that's watching, if mm -hmm. y'all know someone else that you would love to see, like, you know, to come on the show and be a guest, you know, hit them up, let them know about the show, you know, tell, tell y'all best friend. Yeah. You or even the people that's not in the skincare industry, you know, let them let them know. Go watch the excuse me. Go go watch the uh, episodes and everything. Mm -hmm. it's yours, especially oh, for you know, all the people that you work with. You know, all the other estheticians that you know. Let let them mm -hmm. know. You know, so that they can hear they can hear you know about your experience and everything about you. All right. Well, I got a couple people in mind. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Let them know. Let them know. I would love. Yeah. I would love to have them come up. Okay. Great. Great. Sure. Well, I appreciate it once again. Uh, any any closing statements you'll uh, like to say to the people? Never give up on your dreams. Keep pushing. When you get down, get yourself right back up and keep looking forward. There you go. You heard it yourself. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. You have a fantastic day. Make sure that you Thank stay you. safe. Okay? All right. Thank you. You too. All right. You have a beautiful smile too, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>